Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of this wonderful mod pack we're working on here. Yeah, I've been doing some stuff, some mining. <laughs> this wonderful mine shaft that has given me coal lung. And you'd think, why the heck? Wh wh when? How do you get this? Well, you mine a bunch of coal while wearing something that lies to you and says, lets you breathe coal, neat. And then you get miner's lung. You also get trapped in a cave. Uh, this you'll you'll notice this thing's a little bit odd because it like puts light on the black you're looking at, not like right in front of you. For some reason, I guess it considers these quests a, a suggestion, and you can just do the burner quests like straight away. So our one tree turned out to be like a very disappointing tree. It didn't drop any saplings, so I had to travel and did a bit of exploring over here. This place, beautiful. Mm, yes. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to cut down 60. F Whoa, what is this? That's a spaceship. Holy crap, did not notice that. Well, it looks like we're going to the spaceship. I, I mean, I was gonna go all the way back across the, the Atlantic Ocean up to here, but <laughs> seeing as there's a spaceship over there, I think we're going to the spaceship first. Uh, but first, I wanna plant some trees. And then, uh, yeah, I, I don't actually have any wood left, do I? I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to... Okay, this works. This works. This works perfectly. I do see some clay, so we're gonna get started on that 256 clay quest. So 256 clay is not that bad. It's it's really easy if you can find clay. Which, which we obviously have found clay, like, literally, right? This river is probably full of clay, honestly. This biome right over there is probably one of my favorites. You wonder why? It's, it, I don't know. It just looks cool. And to be honest, this is actually a really good place to mine. Look at all the stone under there with ore in it. We got it. Clay. It's one of the worst quests, but uh, once it's done, it's done. Funny thing is, you don't actually need 256 clay to progress. For some reason, I made the quest just ridiculous. Uh, and here we have a wonderful structure where we can collect some good stones. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Get access to these concrete materials early so we can get some good buildings going. In fact, the entire base of this building is like, incredible. This is just amazing. I, do, I don't have access to advanced alloy yet, but that is part of this section of the quest line, quest book, is getting access to that and what is wonderful. But I do know where we can get some and it happens to be at this spaceship. Spaceships usually contain advanced alloy, and sometimes they contain the wires, but the wires, I do not believe you can craft those wires into ingots like you can in 112. I, I don't know why you could do that in 112, it's just, it's just weird. Yup, here's a generic spaceship as we always... Oh, this is not a spaceship, this is, this is, uh, this is called Invisible Trees. You know what's great about, they just come out of nowhere and slap you in the face. Look at this invisible tree we got right here. This... This is not cool. Oh my gosh, get this out of here. <laughs> what the heck is this? Invisible trees since when? Uh, these things still spawn inside these react- or these ships? You can still get those? What the heck? And this already completes that one quest, but uh, we're not even there yet. Well dang, I, I already filled my inventory, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Alright, so these cables are pretty good, pretty useful stuff. Uh, a lot of this stuff here is for fusion reactors, like literally. So, and that is something I don't want to drop on the ground, it will blow up the entire planet probably. These deserts are actually incredibly dangerous biomes, not because the monsters in them, but the structures themselves are sometimes very dangerous. And unfortunately, I don't have any examples of those structures to show y'all, but I found this village conveniently placed on top of some oil that we could literally just blow them up for it. You know, that's, that's what we, we're gonna do. We're just gonna come in here and just, like, blow them up and then take their oil. That's pretty nice. Oh, I think I just spotted everybody's favorite aquatic creature. The trash bag. <laughs> I've never actually seen one of these things yet. I don't have any, um, stuff. To, I need to make some space in my inventory, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, <laughs> I think we're gonna drop the cobblestone into the ocean because I've always wanted my own pet trash bag. Where the heck is this guy at? Dang, did they despawn or something? Or are they just that, that slippery? They got away. Nope. Maybe I gotta punch him. Oh, they float up to the top. 
And they can hold one item in them. Nice. These got added with the uh, the October whatever mob vote. Yeah, it was like a couple weeks ago, and then it was great. You know, because we actually got what we wanted, unlike some people who play regular Minecraft. See, everybody voted for the trash bag, and the options were a pigeon, some other thing, and some other thing. And the second best option was pigeon. But, like, the trash bag just absolutely squashed it. Like, I feel like there's some missing potential with these plastic bags to have a chance to drop, like, polymer as well. That'd be kind of interesting. Or, like, if you get enough of them, like, if you get, like, 600 of these guys, you could turn them into polymer. That'd be... That would be great. But, unfortunately, we can't do that. So, we need to continue on with the progression. And the progression stated that we need to get a piston and also bricks. And bricks... Oh, actually, charcoal is what it stated. But, um... Yeah, I guess we're not ready for that. Funny thing about 1.7 is I'm pretty... Yeah, you can, uh, you can grow sugarcane underwater. <laughs> yes. Actually, you can only grow it in this much water, but yeah, you could still do that. It's amazing. Well, I want to get some building materials for my base. I, I don't want, like, any, uh... I'm not going anything too fancy. I just want to go concrete for now. Something... something nice. Concrete is pretty fancy. Alright, so the combination oven in this mod pack is actually, like, ridiculously hard to get because you need to get a steam suit before you can even think about doing that. Or some kind of armor that protects you against, like, burning because the nether burns you. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. I learned that the hard way in my last world where I was testing. So I guess while we're here, we, we, we're gonna have to go collect a bunch of that trees. Uh, and hopefully not blow up our boat. But fortunately, I did not blow up our boat, so we're good. Oh, nice. This is good. I found a ton of bricks. This thing isn't completely made out of bricks. This is incredible. Okay, we're, we're gonna have a lot of bricks after this, honestly. Alright, so I got all of the wonderful stuff. The most expensive stuff here was the actual uh, rebar concrete. It's actually really valuable. Very blast-resistant material. As far as trees go, I do see these already fallen down logs, which are going to be wonderful for chopping up. These trees are rather painful to cut down, I'm just going to say that, because they go up really high in the air, and then they have like multiple branches, so you have to like climb the entire tree to cut it. There's a trick for this. Oh yes, I'm going to show you all something. I, I don't actually think I've ever done this before. So you hate cutting down trees, right? Well, there's a wonderful thing in Minecraft called ladders. <laughs> Nobody uses these for anything other than, like, permanent structures from what I've seen. But these things are great. What are ladders good for? Well, they are good for scaling objects. Like this guy. See this tree? Just wait a few seconds. Tree is no more. Welcome to Oil Island. They got all of the oil here. Wow. I was nowhere near the shore, my boat blew up anyway. How rude. It's literally just an island with, like, nothing on it, except for this oily sand. This is, is tar sand. This is not even oily sand. Oh, but we got some more building materials. We got a whole nother island over here. This guy, this island is pretty interesting looking. And uh, this thing is in the water. And missing a lot of the bricks. Found oil. This is oily sand. Oh, nice. Oh, this is a great place. There is a lot of oil here. There is so much oil here. There's another one. New. Oil Merca 2. Now I can have two fracking towers. Ooh, that is not something I want to walk into. That is a... Wait a second. I can literally just walk up to that for some reason. I, I don't know why I was able to walk up to a corrupted broadcaster. Those things kill you. Well, this is a pretty good combination. I got a building over there, and I got this building here with a bunch of crates in it. And that building over there will have what we need to get into this building's crates. And a gun, which we don't really need because uh, we, we, we're, we're still in peaceful mode for, for now. I, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to change that. I think we'll do that when, when I'm ready. Now, this guy is a weapons crate. What the heck is this? Um, I don't know what this weapon is. Oh, it's a, one of those. 
I see. I've I've used those before. Those are um not that interesting, really. And we got another spaceship before we go back. Yeah, this one was disappointing. It only had like a few of these guys, eleven of them. Uh, the front might have some good stuff. Supply drop requester. That is amazing. And oil, of course. We'll leave the rest of that in there. I don't need that. Well, we found some good stuff here. We found that big concrete building. We also found this concrete building and there are two oil spots. Although oil is like, we have to wait till like a few chapters to get, actually get to that. And we're, we aren't even progressing through this chapter. We're like doing the basic gathering tasks. It doesn't usually take this long, but because we're in a desert, it takes forever. I, I guess don't go to a desert is the moral of the story. Our house is over um, 800 blocks away, according to this. So, that's fun. Well, we completed quite a bit of stuff today. Let's go ahead and get started on actually doing some stuff. I think we're gonna do some building. I don't usually do building. But hey, maybe we all wanna... I don't know. This is, this is technology channel, not the building. Why are we doing building? This is technology channel, not building channel. Actually, let's just go ahead and uh, do some building, because uh, I'm not building... Oh, this isn't even a lawn base. This is a sand base. This is not... Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what our starter house is gonna look like, but we got a bunch of rebar and a bunch of stone bricks, so... I think we're gonna build with rebar and bricks. Gotta get some texture in there like that. Looks pretty good. Uh, I wanna build, I think, a doorway right here. We're not building a big house. This is not the big house. This is... This is the small house. This is a gun. Let me put this away, because this can get us into big trouble if we're not careful. Ah, uh, yes, one of my trees decided to finally sprout up in like five seconds and become like the world's giantest tree. Very nice. This this place is coming along very well. You can you can tell how much effort I'm putting into this. I'm putting a lot of effort in it. No, I I don't know. Maybe I am. It looks it looks kind of okay. It, it's kind of like missing some some details. Oh, a meteorite hit. Where did it hit? Oh, in the ocean? There's, there's a tree, but... <laughs> Goodbye, ocean. We never need the ocean anyway, don't worry. It's, it's not a big deal. Hey, this is looking pretty good. And how how is our charcoal coming? It's coming nicely. So, charcoal is essential to this quest. I, I don't know why it doesn't just require coal. But it, it requires charcoal, too. Well, dang, I think this is looking pretty good. We got a nice start on this place. This is probably the greatest starter house to ever be made. This place is looking mighty fine. So is our charcoal, which is coming along nicely. Let's let's get this place decorated and get it out and stuff. Uh, we're gonna need hemp, right? Hemp is a wonderful resource, and uh, we can grow that inside of our house. Why not? Uh, I don't actually have any dirt. Well, that, that's that's an, that's a new predicament. I I don't think I've ever encountered a problem. Called not having any dirt. This is very interesting indeed. Let's call in some supply drops. See what they give me. Oh, oh, here they are. It's all ammunition stuff. All right, I got enough dirt to start ourselves a nice farm. All right, let's make this thing. We need a bunch of iron ingots, which we don't seem to have anywhere. Where the heck did I put these iron ingots? Are they in this box? Yep. All right, we need those. Redstone. Do we have even more redstone somewhere? I think we do. I think we have like... Yeah, we have 45 redstone. It's a lot of redstone. We don't need a redstone block. We need we need some cobblestone too. We're making a burner press, which basically is the first machine in the entire... Mod pack, I guess. This, this is kind of like the first machine. Is it? I don't know. Do you consider this a machine or is this... Yeah, this is definitely a machine. What am I saying? And boom, we got it. Burner press. Let's go. All right, so with this here burner press, we need to get stamps. And uh, you need four iron stamps for this. But to get stamps, you need bricks and the Bible, which we don't have yet. And I really need to conserve as much iron as possible because um, going mining for iron is not something I want to keep doing. I believe the brick quest is just 64 of those. However, the actual... Bible quest needs 60 pieces of paper. But I think we can save the rest of the progression for next episode. I'll see you all then.